season. You have the five highest ranked conference champions. The next seven highest ranked teams will earn a spot in the bracket. Speaking of the NFL trade deadline, that is also on Tuesday, November 5th. Guys like Doug Peterson, Brian Dayball, you would assume Brian Dayball would be more of a briar than a seller. But what about guys like Dave Canales? Uh, they might need to give some players up here. So, Pete, it is your time to shine. You get to play the GM. It is your favorite role, I believe, uh, here at go. HQ there at CBS is. Sports. <laughs> I hate to go to that GM's <laughs> office, man. I'll tell you what. You'd be a just, scary GM. Bring your playbook. <laughs> yeah. bring you, your want, playbook. you want a new headshot for this is what you're yeah. asking for. Yeah, well, no, I like that. I just think that has a great look to it, the GM right there. I love that. Oh, what? what about this one? Yeah, what about this? You get the sunglasses on. You tweeted this out. <laughs> what was that, yesterday? No, that was, that was four the, days ago. Yeah. yeah. Vikings yeah. should try and get Cam Robinson from the Jags. Here's the difficult thing with the Jags this season. This wasn't supposed to be a rebuild season. It was supposed to be a good season, a decent season. So now do you just find yourself sellers? You have to sell. You have to sell. They, they go to Philly this week. They're going to get rocked. Their season's done. They're finished. And when you look at it on the surface, Cam Robinson was the starting left tackle. Had a concussion. Cleared to play. Didn't start. Sat on the side. Wasn't interacting from what I was told on didn't the sideline. Didn't, didn't take, take his wrist. Never ankles. a good thing. That means he's out the door. And I think he should be out the door. And you look at, I mentioned the Vikings with Darisaw going down. That makes all the sense in the world to go get him. But the Chiefs should also make a move. The Chiefs made a move to go get a pass rusher. The biggest problem with the Kansas City Chiefs right now is left tackle. They benched the rookie that they drafted. Then they brought in Wanya Morris. He's getting penalty after penalty, holding penalty, can't block anybody. Go get Cam Robinson and solidify your left tackle spot and let Patrick Mahomes be Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, that explosive nature of that offense has been lost when you don't have that security blanket as a formidable left tackle. And with Suamata Ia, they didn't get the results they wanted. Wanye Morris, same kind of deal. But the penalties, those are killers. You get a guy like Cam Robinson, you can have that offense starting to look like the Kansas City Chiefs of old. And he's really good in pass protection, not great in the run game, but you know the way they scheme Thank it up. They got butt whoopers inside yeah. the guard and <laughs> yeah. center, so they'll be all right they'll in the be run much game. Better. Um, as much as it hurts my heart to talk about the Jags being sellers, it is the reality, and, and it's the reality for the Panthers, too. And we kind of knew that basically all season long. They are 1-7 and seven after losing to the Broncos. And, Pete, you were saying Deontay Johnson, that is someone they should trade. All signs are pointing in that direction. Where could he go, and what kind of return could they get um, in Carolina well, for him? It's kind of interesting because we saw a lot of the receiver-needy teams make moves. Yeah. You know, so, so where could he end up? I still think there's teams out there. You know, the 49ers would make some sense. I mean, you look at what's happened to their receiver room. Oh, yeah. it's, it's been, you know, banged up in a big way. I think that would make some sense. Go get a guy like that who can help stretch the field. Now, Pearsall's starting to come on, but you need another one. Jennings is hurt. Uh, you know, Ayuk is out for the year, so maybe that would make some sense. But if you're the Panthers, you have to start getting assets. Remember, they traded a bunch of assets for the tiny quarterback, and when you do that, it causes problems. Name? He has a Bryce name. Young. Yeah, okay. And they traded a bunch of assets <laughs> for him. And the fact is, and he can't, he can't play at all. And when you give up that kind of, uh, of draft pick capital, it's going to be a problem. I loved what you said about the San Francisco 49ers. And Pearsall gives them some juice, but what's better than juice? More, more juice. juice. So you get more juice. <laughs> than Jeff Johnson. Brock Purdy, maybe he scores 28 in the third quarter instead of 21. I think it would be good for the Niners. I will tell you, I was on that game. Watching Bryce Young on the sideline was very depressing. He and was... He, he was almost comatose. Little. He looks little, too, doesn't he? Really little. I will not comment on that, but I will say that he was very, very sad on the sideline. I can't At one point, how just, hard it has got to be to be Bryce Young. It, yeah. it, it is a very difficult position, and knowing that Dave Canales' plan was Andy Dalton moving forward, and that will likely still be their plan. Uh, but moving on, let's talk about another team that could potentially be sellers here. We're going to talk about the Rams. Not necessarily the season we saw for the Rams, but here they are. At the bottom of their decision, they gave Tredavious White permission to seek a trade. Sean McVay saying, look, we'd like you to be here we understand you want to be a contender so Pete they're looking to let him go well they're also looking to let him go because they benched him I mean, he hadn't been active in three the past games. three games and, and that's something you know they're playing younger players who are playing better and it makes sense in that scenario to let him go I mean you'd like to have a veteran around maybe to help push the room but he's not going to be a part of what they're doing 
they are actually, you know, I thought they might be sellers more than they're going to be. After what happened last week, they get their receivers back. We thought they might be trading Cooper Cup. Now I wouldn't trade them. No. I think they're in a position now where they can actually make a little bit of a push. But Tredavious White makes sense. Let them go to a team that need, uh, uh, needs a corner more than they do. Uh, get them out there. Let them make that decision for him and let him go play somewhere else. And get else. something for it. I mean, except for that Arizona game where they got blown out week two. This Rams team is in every single football game that they've played in this year. With the way that offense looked, sky's the limit for Sean McVay, Matt Stafford, and those guys. Get rid of the spare change that you don't want to keep around. Get something in return for it and make a run. The can they get is, anything in return? What can they get? They might no. get a late round, late, late round pick. Yeah. The problem is he wasn't playing very well. Coming off that injury, remember he got hurt last year when he tore his Achilles, and when you tear Achilles, it's sometimes tough to come back from. Yeah, in the NFC West, it is a, a very, very tight race. Three of those teams sitting right there at uh, at 500. Not the Rams, though. Yeah, so let me ask you this, Pete. Uh, go ahead and get rid of him. But if they do want to make a push, because it's very close in that division, do they go and get some pieces? I mean, I think they're building for more than just making a push this year. Remember, they went all in to try and get the Super Bowl. They got it. And they spent a lot of money on their stars. And when you spend a lot of money on your stars, you have to be good drafting. And Les Snead has done a great job yeah. of drafting and finding guys in the later rounds. And so I think they're in that more in that mode where they're going to kind of balance it out by you still have to look to the future and build that thing through the future. So, no, I don't think they're going to be, I don't think they'll be buyers. I, and nor would I be if I were in that position. Okay, let's talk about the Titans because they're uh, certainly going to be sellers here. They already dealt D-Hop over to KC, but who are some other big pieces that they could cash in on, Pete? If I was a, a team in need of a pass rusher, I would look at Arden Key. Uh, I think, and in, in if you're the Detroit Lions, Detroit Lions should call the Raiders First thing and foremost, first and foremost, and say, look, I'll give you a one, a two, and a three, or whatever, a one and another one to go get Crosby. And the Raiders might say no, but you got to make the attempt to go do it. If you can't get Crosby, you have to do something, and maybe more than one move. And I think Arden Key is a veteran who's been around the league. He's disruptive if he has help on the interior. They have help on the interior. I think Arden Key or Zadarius Smith or one of those guys would make a lot of sense. Maybe both of them. Because this team, like you said, well, you guaranteed they're already going to win the Super Bowl. This team is in position to go <laughs> win it all. If they don't get a pass rusher, they're not going to win it all. Yeah, and you don't need to go and get the world beater pass rusher. You just need to improve that unit that you have already. And those two guys, Key and Zadarius Smith, experienced veteran guys who can get after the quarterback. I think it would be a really good move for the Lions. It may take them over the hump there on the defensive side. Guaranteed. Of the ball. <laughs> Is that what you said? Guaranteed? Uh, well, okay. yeah, I got a little carried away this morning. We were excited. I was talking about the Lions. How are you doing, Kyle? I'm doing all right. You're okay. All right. It was a rough weekend. I, I lost my mind a little bit, but, you know, it's Tuesday. <laughs> we're back. I got to see Pete. This is my tonic right here. Pete. Oh. Andy guaranteed. I get excited about the Lions every week. You I do. Mean, these guys are awesome. And They're if they fun. can add a real rusher, Aaron Glenn's defense gets even bigger. I have team. to get one, maybe two. Yep. They really do. All right, guys, we appreciate it. Hang tight because we are talking about the A. AFC playoff picture. The Chiefs' last undefeated team standing, but are they fraudulent? We're going to discuss with the guys coming up. What?